Calling me, calling me, calling me. Say my name. Y'all remember that song, guy? <laughs> what it do, world? Man, I'm just at the park. And it's just gonna be another freestyle. I don't know what I'm about to talk about. I'm trying to roll my little wake and bake. But, um... Man, what topics we got trending right now? You know what? I could talk about people that value your time or that know the value of your time and that show that they value your time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got those friends that, well, first, let me, let me run it all the way back real quick. When before I talk about people that value your time, I do like this royalty consultant thing with the for independent artists and teach them basically how to do their paperwork so they can get royalties. You know what I'm saying? Keep it to keep it simple and plain. That's basically what I do in my spare time. Well, as my business, but. I'm self-employed, so that's like my spare time. I just do what I want to do most of the days. But um, you know, I'm I'm here for those artists that's trying to line up their royalties and things like that. Now, I do consulting at a low rate because I'm in Louisiana. People people don't have a lot of money most of the time out here. And there's not a lot of business-minded people that's out here that's in this, in this, take interest in what I do. You know what I'm saying? As far as they rather go, you know, I don't know. It's just different. It's just different out here. So I'm trying to shed new light on this, in this realm here in Louisiana. But other people that do what I do, they charge like 40, 60 an hour, 80 an hour or more. I charge like 20 an hour, you know, to make sure the people get their stuff right. Now, of course, everything is free. Knowledge is free. You know what I'm saying? You just got to go find it, read it, learn it, apply it. But for these people that understand the value of my time, because outside of that, I do some other work and I get, I averaged out averaging out my time and shit, I average out about anywhere between twenty five to thirty dollars an hour. You know what I'm saying? So I be like I be trying to work, you know. I be trying to get on my own time clock and do what I do for however long I want every day and then do well whatever else I wanna do every day. You know what I'm saying? If I wanna go take a trip out of town, I go take a trip out of town. If I want to go out to eat somewhere, take my daughter out to eat, we go out to eat. If I want to go buy some groceries, we go buy some groceries. You know, I don't have food stamps and all that. Like, you know, now I'm not going to say like everybody else, but like a lot of other people, I don't have a lot of that assistance. But I'm not complaining about that. What I do like are those friends that value my time and that... Don't try to lowball me when they want me to do favors or they want me to do, you know, tasks that help them get ahead in life, you know? It's fair fair compensation. I can't complain about it. I actually appreciate a lot of people that, that do that. And that's what I'm rocking with right now, people that actually value my time, people that actually value my presence, you know what I'm saying? For the little stuff that I do share, like, this shit might be boring to a lot of y'all. These these little series might be boring to a lot of y'all. Because it's like, oh, he ain't, he ain't talking about nothing. He ain't talking about nothing. Well, shit, it got motherfuckers that talk, talk to you about how to make a million dollars. A lot of motherfuckers ain't watching that. When I talk to these artists about doing their royalties and doing this paperwork, they be falling asleep. A lot of people don't like talking about money. It sound good, but they don't like talking about no real money. Like... I'm not talking about a few hundred dollars here and a few hundred dollars there. I'm talking about generational wealth. I'm talking about, <laughs> like, bro, <clears throat> you got to understand, man. I'm not talking about the same topic that everybody else is talking about because 
where has it really gotten our people as a whole? Talking about the same shit. Like, if I get on the shit that most of y'all are talking about, where is it going to lead me within 10 years? How is it going to help my children get ahead? Not just make it, not just survive, get ahead. If I'm if I'm trying to break generational curses and I have to do better and get ahead from where my people let me at, then how can I expect my kids just to barely make it and that should be enough? Or, or you know what I'm saying? Like, man, some people satisfied with where they at or where they, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't tripping on that. But the people that value my time and that's helping me get ahead, that's actually, you know, helping me pursue some shit in life, I thank y'all because at the end of the day, I'm going to help y'all get ahead. And at the end of the day, each one teach one type mentality, you know? So I appreciate the people that's helping me get ahead in life. And that value my time and that compensate my time just like I compensate theirs or the next person's time. You know what I'm saying? Real. Now, I'm trying to take my time and roll this blunt so I could have my little wake and bake on deck for when I go pick up my little friend. Because, like, a lot of people be thinking, like, well, a lot of people don't even know me. So, it's cool, which I'm not asking to be no famous person and be no celebrity i'm being myself and like if people want to vibe with me they vibe with me if they don't then shit <laughs> there's billions of other people to rock with in the world when well, i am not tripping you know one thing i also one thing i also notice when i'm talking about valuing my time and shit is like i gotta roll one more because it's gonna be a long day i feel it already one of the things that I also notice when I'm talking about valuing my time is like there's people that want to be in the situation when everything's going good and like they pop up when the shit when the shit looks fantastic they pop up <clears throat> but then when the shit is look hard or when it when it when it look like oh man that nigga that nigga a failure he failing they be quiet as fuck and <clears throat> Excuse me. And you know, I I deal with that shit. You know, I I see it. I don't speak on it all the time. I don't need to. There's a lot of different vibes out there, and some people that's how they rock. <clears throat> I I gauge it me, cause I be like, well. I know when I'm doing good, I could expect these people to be around, and this is what they do. So I'm going to go ahead on and utilize them how I need them to be utilized for what they're good for. Because you're not just going to be in my situation and not do nothing or not be worth nothing. I can't, fuck, I can't be in your situation and not be worth nothing. So why would I want you in mine and, you, and, and you're not worth nothing to me? So I look at it like, shit for all them people that just pop up and they just value my time or they they want to be in my time when they see value in my time i just treat them how i treat them like it's not no it's not no set way to treat people no more in in the sense that if you got your own situation going and people are trying to reach in and jump in your situation I mean, it's your situation. It's just like your house. You can't let everybody in your house. So you can't let everybody in your situation. And like, when I had the door open for my personal situation, I'm not gonna say this like, oh, well, niggas will never make it. I mean, there's, there's billions of people, there's other doors. But when I was in my situation and I had my door open for people to come in and stay in and hey, I mean, I guess a lot of people didn't believe in it because how hard the grind was. But at the same time, I'm sitting here at the park rolling up a blunt right now. And I live in Louisiana. And I'm just chilling. 
I work for myself. Now, I'm not no millionaire. But if everything that I apply works over time, within time, I'm at least going to continue being a thousand there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm at least continue to have some thousands in my bank account. You know? So, I'm cool with that. At the end of the day, I'm cool with that. I'm I'm cool with my kids having some type of college education because I went to the military, and um, they can go ahead on and use my little GI Bill and my uh, post 9/11, you know, because I got two of them hoes, so they could use both of them, one for each of my children, and they can go to school and do what they need to do and learn what they need to learn, if they if that's what they choose, you know, like. I also encourage them to get their own scholarship, too, because, shit, that school money is, I don't know how, you know, I don't know how all that stuff works. I don't really care about it. I don't, like, I really don't care about it. That's why I never, that's why I never went. Like, I began going, but I ain't finishing. But, you know, time is valuable. A lot of, a lot of dudes, they spend their time, they'll spend their time doing, like, crime, doing dirt. And then go sit down in 10 years, 12 years, and then get out and then do some more crime and do some more dirt. And then go sit down another 10 or 12 years. And by then, their children grow up. Their children grown. You ain't got no children to go back to, bruh. They grown. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you got, you got to listen to songs like That Great Man by Kevin Gates and stuff. Like, when you listen to certain music, listen to certain songs, think about what they talking about and think about your life because y'all y'all going to be out here one day regretting that time behind bars. You know, you think a nigga spinning his rut, spinning his wheel out here, being broke in the street. But at the same time, if you apply yourself and you learning these lessons while you out here in the street, you're going to come up. It's, it's inevitable. It's just like in the drug game. It's just like when you locked up behind them bars and you got to learn how the uh, commissary go. You got to learn how the mail go. You're going to come up. You're going you gonna to be able to hang in there. You're going you gonna to learn your ropes. You're going to gain your stripes. Just like in the game, you're going to learn the ropes. You're going to gain your stripes. You need, so, so out here in the street, like, gee, don't be scared of it, man. Don't be scared to just do the right thing and carry yourself in a regular in a regular manner. In an average manner, there's nothing wrong with that. Most motherfuckers are average, and all that extravagant shit. Just like how you, just like how you hear these rappers coming out. Oh man, yeah, I don't do no drugs. I don't drink no drink. I don't. Man, them people be lying to y'all, man. <laughs> like it's nothing wrong with being average. You know, they say it's simping. They they call you a simp because you do stand up shit like help help other. You know, I'm not saying you gotta bend over backwards for bitches out here raising their kids and shit. But nigga, if you helping, you just helping. It's community building. If, if a lot of these people, they got selfish ass mentalities, selfish ass um, ways, and they look just to take advantage of people that are kind. So they, of course they're gonna they're gonna speak on that like, no, nah, you're not supposed to do nothing kind. You're not supposed to do nothing for your people. You're not supposed to help nothing. But then turn around and do that same shit for the white man, same shit for the Asian man, same shit for the Indians or whoever else. You, you know what I'm saying? Whatever man, except the own man. And it's just like. <laughs> It's crazy, bruh. This shit really is crazy out here. We don't support our own businesses. We just go with everybody else. And that's cool. I mean, that's society. That's how we like it. So, for the people that support me in my time, whether they of my race or not, like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not one of them racial war people, you know. I done seen both sides do dirt <laughs> on, 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 on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, on me. Fuck on my people. Fuck on these, uh, uh, my ancestors. Real life experience. It don't matter a person color. It it really matter on on a person heart integrity. Their vibes. You know what I'm saying. Their morals. What they stand on. So at the end of the day, for the people that actually help me out, you know, I appreciate y'all. For the people that invest in me, I appreciate y'all. And uh, the people that value my time. You know what I'm saying? That shit is priceless, and I appreciate y'all because I only got one life. So them, them five, ten minutes that y'all paid for, you know what I'm saying? Not the shit that y'all got for free. The actual time that y'all paid for, for the for to be in my presence and for me to be in your presence and for us to build and grow, man, that shit is priceless, bro. And and I appreciate that, sis. You know what I'm saying? Like like both, you know, kings and queens. Real talk. Now, that's going to be the end for this one. 
I'm gonna roll up this little second blunt right here. I'm gonna call it my day starting, and uh, we'll see what it do. 100.